So, hi guys and welcome back to the Sensational Lifestyle by Heidi. So, for today, we will be talking about this really, really nice type of perfume which was just launched a week ago and I'm really happy that I'm giving a chance to review this new release Libre Intense by YSL. When I received this um, email from the um, YSL, I'm so happy that they giving me a chance to have this type of wonderful perfume so I didn't waste my time and I grabbed the chance to have it this one so let's just talk about it first this YSL that was just launched a week ago and behind the notes is still the same um, and playful and Carlos Benien so I will share it to you first the type of box that the has the YSL have which is this is the older YSL if you will notice this YSL before has a white background um, YSL in boys and the new YSL um, box has a black background that's the difference they have similarity but that's the difference it's just the color same as the bottle itself the difference is just the liquid or the fluid juices itself inside the bottle so I'll show you ladies see how's the difference it's just this one is more darker than the older one but they are the same design which is for me the same bottle with the symmetrical lead um, design that's with the transparent bottle itself that wrap up with a large monogram iconic rose gold YSL that I still find it a naughty one so that's what I can tell you so let's just talk about the silage of this perfume I tried this a couple of times I re-sprayed this again today actually I'm wearing it now and the silage of this perfume it has a perfect silage it difference from the YSL Libre original which is will fill up the rim this one you have to be three to five meters away from the persons to um to know that this is um perfume so the longevity of this perfume when it comes to my skin the YSL Libre itself it stays to my body chemistry for I think eight to nine hours same with this one but when it comes um, to your clothes when you spray to your clothes ladies and gentlemen the YSL um, not staying it doesn't have a staying power like this new one when I spray it this I spray it to my wrist I spray it for my left and right so I will compare the difference between the two so when it comes to the longevity um, when you spray it to your body chemistry or when you spray it to your clothes it stayed to my clothes until the next day I still smell it to my clothes when I wake up and that's a good thing this one has a sense of the oriental aromatic perfume and the YSL Libre is a cryper type of perfume so let's just talk about the notes of this perfume it has a top notes of bergamot mandarin and lavender the middle note has also a lavender, jasmine sandbag, orchid, and Tunisian orange blossom. So when it comes to the base, this wise sentence has a vanilla, vetiver, at the same time has a tonka bean and amber. So that's all I can say. Let's just move on with my opinion and review. So ladies, I have to turn it off my candle because it's starting to... Um, you know the smoke starting to getting hot like I don't want to cause of our <laughs> fire but anyway yes let's just move on with this perfume so first of all before I will describe and review this type of new release YSL Intense I wanted to thank to the shop that I bought this to giving me a privileges to um, update me when the new release YSL Intense perfume um, is in the um, is in the shop or is in the um, online shop. So I'm glad. Thank you so much. So I do love this YSL Libre 
Um, I know some other critics find it this very strong and synthetic, but Lady Shina for me, um, for my body chemistry, I do love everything when it comes to this perfume, when it comes to this YSL um, with each layer of the perfume that I find it is a very, very adorable. So when it comes to the um, YSL and bands, I didn't had a hesitant or I didn't ever even thought and or second thought to buy it. So I grabbed the chance already to to grab this or to buy this. So I was so glad that I buy this YSL Intense because they are, have have a big difference, ladies and gentlemen. Um, the YSL Intense has an opening with a very slightly um, mandarin sense that after a couple of seconds, like a three seconds, um, it changed in it changed it with a very lovely sense of jasmine. Um, and orchids and you know what ladies and gentlemen I'm expecting that because of the perfume title itself like a YSL intense Libra intense um, I'm expecting that it will be more um, stronger than the YSL Libra but I was wrong um, this is this perfume is a really really soft floral scents with a touch of zesty that's good enough to balance um the each notes of the perfume of the perfume sorry about that yeah of the perfume um of this um notes is inside of this wonderful perfume so the softer of this perfume compared to the original one the lavender itself is not that harsh and it's still more refined it's more refined and more sophisticated and the vanilla that makes you feel like a very feminine woman um this perfume does has no sharpness ladies and gentlemen but more on classy type of perfume and also has an additional tonka bean that helps this libre intends to become more irresistible and desirable um, I was comparing the two when I spray it between the intense and the um, labor itself it has really has a sharpness when it comes in says that it will slap or craps you intentionally with the libre but this one the first thing that you will notice is like softness of floral perfume and then the shot of the zestiness it's just a couple of seconds it's really a couple seconds and then it turned out to be a very beautiful gorgeous type of perfume so that's very adorable that you will love it to have it with your collections i love this and i hope um people will love this because it evolves differently for the longevity itself when i spray it um both ysl to my wrist to my right and left hand um the ysl intense stay for me um for about eight to nine hours itself and when it comes to my clothes it stay until the next day um absolutely when i wake up ladies and gentlemen i smell it already so the overall review i think that the ysl labor intense it's a really good evolution of the two because it has no sharpness um, to this type of perfume and then when it, when you sniff it you will never even sneeze because when i first i remember when i first sprayed the ysl um, Libre, it, it makes me feel sinister. It's just like there's a type of pepper that spray on your face that make you sniff. But this one, when you spray it, there already has a softness. There is no sharpness that I, I, I detect in this type of perfume. You can wear this. I think you can wear this for the daytime to nighttime from the office 
to the date night. That's perfect. I can recommend this, ladies and gentlemen, for uh, people or for the women who was uh, ages between 25 and above because um, this is for a refined women, young women, that's for teenager. I don't recommend this for teenager. I think this one can be both wear on summer or winter, but this one can wear throughout the year. That is perfect. That's all I can say. It's up to you, ladies and gentlemen. If I were you, if you are doubted, you can just go to the shop, snip it, or buy a decant if they have. I hope they come out with a decant right now, but this is a really wonderful type of perfume, ladies and gentlemen. I never get that I buy it if I giving a chance of if I finish this type of perfume, this bottle, I will repurchase this compared to the YSL Libre. I love this type of perfume. So that's all I can say with this type of review. I hope you would like this review right now. And if you're new to my channel and be here for a while, please don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell so you will be notified every week that I'm uploading my video. And if you enjoy this, please, I appreciate if you comment, share, and like this with your family and friends. And have a great and wonderful day, guys. And have a great time and see you soon. Bye for now, guys. Bye.